gentlemen, it's my great privilege now to introduce three leading council members of the Law Society of England and Wales, Eunice Shang Simpson, Daniel Fitzpatrick, and acting as their spokesman today, the leading family lawyer, Denise Lester. Friends, international friends, and distinguished speakers from British and other European parliaments, salam. I am honoured to be with you today. I am a member of the Law Society with members of the Law Society Council at my side, proudly with you and with me, and I also send a special regards, support and respect from the chair of the former Human Rights Committee of the Law Society, Professor Sarah Chandler, Honorary QC, who unfortunately cannot be here today as her plane has been stuck in Geneva. We support you and we are here to elaborate on the role of the Law Society of England and Wales, which is the voice of solicitors and safeguards the rule of law in this country. We represent 146,000 members, we act in the public interest, and we support initiatives to uphold democracy, the rule of law abroad. The rule of law is essential to preserve democratic values, fundamental freedoms, and good governance, also human rights. The Law Society has written to the head of the judiciary in Iran regarding the treatment of lawyers who have been sentenced, given lashes, and imprisoned as a result of their work to progress human rights. The Society has formally called for the release of Iranian lawyer Nazrin Sudota, who was sentenced to 38 years in prison and 148 lashes after defending women protesting against Iran's headscarf laws. In a joint letter, which is published on the Law Society's website under the International Communities section, with pressure group Lawyers for Lawyers, the society reminded Iranian government and judicial leaders of the United Nations basic principles on the role of lawyers, which states that lawyers must be able to perform their professional functions without intimidation, hindrance, harassment, or improper interference. We also highlighted the case of the Iranian lawyer, Amir Salah Davoud, who represented political prisoners as well as members of ethnic and religious minorities. He was convicted to 30 years imprisonment and 111 lashes on charges of insulting officials, propaganda against the state, and forming a group with the purpose of disrupting national security. As Law Society members, we greet the Anglo-Iranian communities and members of Parliament from the UK and Europe and join with you in advancing the course of human rights, women's rights and democracy in Iran. Salam.